Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 25th, 2023. Well, those bears, they have been pretty darn active here as we run into the last week of September. And the big question is, will they continue to be active or do we have a chance for a little bit of relief rally? There are There is some evidence that we should be expecting some relief rally, but there is also some details out there that still raise a little bit of question whether or not those bears are going to stay active into the end of this week. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as you can see, I've made a little bit of an adjustment here to the diamonds trade. We used to have this line up in here, and that has moved substantially lower here because we continue to break these support levels. So first level of resistance to the upside that we're gonna to have to deal with is obviously this one in the chart. We're significantly bearish here, as you can see, and this is a very substantial area of price resistance. Um, in the chart. So if the bulls find inspiration today, then I would suggest we would test this area first. And if they can push on through there, then I think the next level is right up in here. And that is along that downtrend here in the chart that we'll have to be paying attention to. If, if those uh, bears, however, find some inspiration today, I don't think we can rule out the possibility of coming down into here to this support level in the chart. Looks like a pretty good likelihood, at least at the moment, and a test of the 200 day moving average. So a little bit below that is that support level that I marked out down around the 500 day, but you can see a test of the 200 day looks very likely, and I've talked about that last week, that possibility that we could reach that just simply because it is so close now let's take a look at our spy spy also broke that october low and at this point in time i've left this line right here green because we haven't tested that as resistance and failed yet so i'm going to leave it there but that is a fairly significant level of price resistance that we're going to have to deal with in the chart if the bulls are to um, stay active if they push back up through that level where we're going to look at this level here as the next area of price resistance and unfortunately if this area right here were to fail and it certainly is that possibility that it could fail if that area fails i'm going to suggest we could come down into this little range right here and this is not a strong area of price support as you can see there's not much price action in there and what that means is if that were to fail the chances of us coming down into here um, grow pretty substantially that's a much bigger area of price support in the chart if we take a look at our moving averages you can see that our 200 day is still significantly lower down here so you can see if we were to push down into here around that 200 day moving average that catches that price support I want to say that is still a possibility and the reason I say that is there's just not a lot of price evidence right in here that we could hold so if the bears really were to start pushing hard to the downside you could see that could cascade us right down into that level let's take a look at our QQQ now QQQ has been the strongest here of um, all the indexes noticing that we have still held the October excuse me the August low here in the chart so looking at that if we can push um, on up well then we have this resistance right in here that we're going to have to deal with first pushing through that level 
and then of course we're right back up here testing that major resistance level and downtrend in the chart at the same time if those bears were to find inspiration today then I would suggest a test of this August low um, is certainly possible. If they could push on down in there, test that level, we might get a chance to bounce up off of there. Breaking down through that level could be substantial. You can see we don't have a whole lot of support. There's little areas of support in here that could potentially hold in that chart, but you could see we could come all the way down into this area and if we were to do that, you can see we would be pushing down here toward that 200 day moving average in support. Right now, QQQ looks like the most unlikely for doing that, but it'll all depend on whether or not we hold this um, August low. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM has already made some pretty ugly decisions here, breaking on down through this substantial level of price support in the chart and that possibility here we are testing this level and I know a lot of folks when we were up here were, uh, were probably thinking there's no way that IWM is going to fall through this level here and boy did we do it really quick and now that we are down here testing this level if the bears were to continue to push you could certainly see that possibility breaking this support level here where we could come all the way down into this area of the chart if they were to continue to push and that would just be nothing more than kind of a completion of this head and shoulders pattern that i've been talking about there's that link that we could go from the head to the neckline of that move and that suggests that once we break the neckline we could move that similar distance to the downside so watch this level of price support if those bears really push down through this level right here if the bulls find inspiration though those bulls could push right back up and we could test this level a price resistance in the chart certainly seems like a possibility and if they can push on through that level then my suggestion is that we would push right up in here where we could challenge that uh, downtrend resistance as well and maybe even continue following the downtrend to the downside let's continue to look on with the our vix my goodness our vix uh, really spiked up uh, the last couple of days we left a hammer pattern in here uh, what we call a hanging man pattern if it reacts negatively to the top up here anyway a hanging man pattern and you can see I've been talking about this area up in here breaking this downtrend um, right in here would be significant so far we haven't done that so if the bulls were to find uh, enough um, energy in here, inspiration to move, then we still have that possibility that we pull back and react negative to this um, level in the chart. If the bears, however, find inspiration and they push on through, that could be a problem for us. We could really have some fear pop up in here and a little bit of panic that could run into the market pretty quickly. Remember, we still run that risk in this chart that we find a higher low, even if we do rest or pull back, we find a higher low, then continue on higher. So keep a close eye out for some of these things in the market. We're really at the cusp of making some pretty important decisions here in the technicals of our index charts. If we take a look at our T2122, now this is our best hope. I think that we um, catch a little bit of relief rally. You can see that we're showing here in T2122. Remember guys, this is nothing more than a four week new high, new low ratio in the market. And typically when we reach down into this level, down in here, we bounce. As a matter of fact, you can go back as far as you want in history. It's exactly what occurs. We bounce off of this area. The thing we don't know is what day or how long we could linger down into this area. But the good news is if, if the bears continue to find inspiration, they may not have 
a whole lot of energy into the market unless pure panic comes in. And that is certainly possible if we start breaking some of these critical support levels. So watch that carefully. If we can find any kind of bullish inspiration, just note that we have lots of upside and we really don't have a whole lot of um, a move to the downside. So I would be watching for a potential relief rally. Doesn't mean we just tear right back up to the top, but we catch a little bit of relief and we start to bounce um, in that area. If we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108, you can see on Friday, well, it left a lot to be desired. It just wasn't a whole lot of energy in there at all on Friday. We broke down below this um, support level in the chart. And you can see if we look a little bit lower, we've got some support down in here that we tested. And that possibility that we could move on lower here if those bears find inspiration, that is still possible. So watch that carefully. But if the bulls can find inspiration here in the market and start pushing back, then look right in here. If we can catch some of that relief rally, we could come back up here and test some of these resistance levels in the chart. And I think it's a good possibility that that could occur at least sometime this week, assuming none of these other major issues, um, you know, add on to the weight here in the market. Our uh, T2107, T2107 also unimpressed, actually moved just ever so slightly lower 38% of the stocks here above their 200-day uh, moving average. And you can see we still have some support levels below that could easily be tested if the bears find that inspiration. If the bulls find inspiration, well then of course we could start moving back up, testing some of these resistance levels in the chart giving us a little bit of relief. You will want to keep in mind, we have this big head and shoulders pattern in here. We have not completed that pattern to the downside. So you'll want to watch for that. Even if we rally back, watch for that possibility that we can complete that pattern to the downside. We take a look at our T2101. Well, our market breadth, and this has been one of our issues here. As we try to get a little bit of lift or a little bit of rally, we run out of breadth here in the market. Just not a lot of energy to the upside. Um, when we see the selling waves, we've been picking up a little bit more on that breadth side. So just be really careful here. Um, what we need to see if you're a bull is we need to see not only us moving up, but we need to see that breadth moving to the upside as well, providing that energy to the market. So right now, not so much. Um, and we may continue to struggle with that breadth with all of the major companies coming into their earnings reports that are in the blackout period and they're unable to buy back stock. They're unable to do much of anything. And we may run into a little bit of trouble there. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, we've got a few things that we're going to wanna to be paying attention to, but all in all, pretty light day. What we're gonna be worried about more likely than anything is things like durable goods orders, GDP numbers here later on in the week. And that could keep us a little bit uncertain as we move forward here this week. First off today, we've got Chicago Fed national activity. We've got Dallas um, Fed activity manufacturing numbers um, that we'll wanna be paying attention to. Now they haven't been very good and um, We'll want to watch that closely if we start to see some improvement there. That could be helpful. We've got a couple of short-term bond auctions, and that's kind of it for the day on that economic calendar. But as you look forward this week, we've got consumer confidence coming in here, new home sales, Case Shiller, besides that um, uh, durable goods orders, um, e petroleum status, which of course is being a major problem for us because we are again seeing oil moving up this morning as we start to worry about those supply issues. Uh, we've got GDP, we've got jobless claims, pending home sales, 
petroleum status. We're going to start getting um, some of these uh, Fed speakers in here uh, this week now that they're past their blackout period. And then at the end of the week, we've got international trade, personal incomes, and outlays. That's that's a big one right there um, as we uh, run into these inflation date and inflation data points. Chicago PMI uh, consumer sentiment, some more Fed speak in here to be paying attention to. Remember, the, the PCE number, personal incomes and outlays, that's going to be one of the Fed's favorite numbers when we hit that core PCE. So that uncertainty heading into the end of this week um, could be a problem for us. We also have another major uncertainty as we go toward the end of the week. That is the fact that we still don't have any kind of a budget deal. And it looks like it's kind of stalled right now in Congress. If there is no budget deal by the 30th of this month, and they are running very, very close to being too late on this uh, so that the Senate can act on whatever it is that they pass, we could end up in a situation where the government shuts down on um, October 1st. So, well, actually midnight on the 30th. So kind of keep that in mind. That is an uncertainty here in the market um, to pay attention to. One good news, it looks like the rider strike may have come to a tentative agreement, but obviously we still have that situation where the UAW is still on strike and issues going on with that continue to have an impact um, on the market itself. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. Um, oh, first, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And unfortunately, our earnings calendar, well, there just isn't much to inspire the market today. Um, we're going to get Thor Industries will be reporting today. This is the most notable um, today. Keep an eye on that. And then uh, PUII is also on the list. That's a confirmed, uh, let me see if I can type that symbol here first. Um, PUII, which is in, in no way, shape, or form going to be of interest to the market. So THO is really the only notable for today to be paying attention to. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me this favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave the brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. And a big shout out to those folks who utilize the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. That helps out an awful lot as well. So thank you so much to everyone who um, participates and helps. Um, gotta tell you, um, never would have expected there'd be this many folks that would support this kind of effort. And I really, really appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As, we, as I suggested, we have so much uncertainty going into this week. I think there's uh, just about anything that could happen in here. But let's take a look at a few stocks that are starting to show some nice um, patterns here in the chart. And you guys know I've been talking about AT&T here recently. Now I have a little skin in the game on this one. Not a lot, but just kind of nibbling in on this to see if we're going to hold this upside trend hold support in this chart. I like the fact that we've got this nice little controlled pullback coming into support and trend. Let's see if we can catch that next opportunity that this might push on higher. If I take a look at a few of the moving averages in here, this is a pattern that we talk about all the time in hit run candlesticks and right way options. It is called the round of bottom breakout. And that's where we round this bottom off in here. 
and we start pushing back up through that 50-day moving average. I want you to notice that 50-day moving average is starting to turn. If that begins to turn up, then it adds that additional support in here, and we could stretch this trend in here right on higher. So watch that closely. Um, another chart that I've talked about quite a bit here is KHC. Now, KHC is also making that turn. And when the market becomes uncomfortable, when the market becomes uncertain, start looking to a few of the defensive sector stocks, they start to improve. When we've got uncertainty, um, institutions themselves will start to rotate into these dividend paying stocks like AT&T and uh, KHC, things like that, to uh, catch a little bit of that dividend protection here in the market. That being said, we look at KHC, you can see we're moving up in this nice little trend, breaking through. We've got a little inverted head and shoulders pattern in here to be watching pushing through this resistance in the chart. If you're that bull, be looking for that upside move to start pushing up here in those charts. Um, other places that you could look, boy, we've got a lot of interesting things going on out here in some of these um, credit card and banking um, stocks out here. Take a look, we broke this downtrend here in Visa. So I would be watching this for any rally back. There's our downtrend, any rally back in here looks to me like it may set up some additional downside as our consumers continue to weaken. You might wanna take a look at um, Amazon. Amazon broke some major levels here in the market. We just had some news that they're gonna spend a whole bunch more money here uh, in the near future. So watch that closely. We break these levels. Anytime we rally back, we look for the lower high and that possibility that we could move on lower. Now, for those of you um, um, that have been watching Google, this was a beautiful hold up here in Google and that looked like we were gonna hold and maybe move on higher and then all of a sudden we came out here to trend, got tromped on hard by the bears and you can see that possibility now that we have created a high this may take some time to develop, but this would be kind of the first part of a head and shoulders top that could be coming in here on Google. So watch that closely. Remember, Google Alphabet are under scrutiny right now for um, antitrust, and uh, there's a lot of uh, news and information that will be coming on that. So just watch that carefully. Um, this could set up a little bit of consolidation in here and then continue to fall in that chart. Take a look at um, some of these cannabis stocks that shot up so dramatically here in the market. Um, suddenly there are, they are pulling back. We're losing support levels in here, but we're running into some additional support area of the chart. It's possible that we could find a little buy support in here. Watch that closely. We've got WMT. WMT is still holding on to support and doing a good job of it. Even though we got hit pretty hard the other day, still hanging in there. Uh, remember WMT made all time highs here being really favored for the consumers uh, and groceries just simply because um, everyone is looking to save a little bit of money right now. Consumers are pretty stressed. And as you can see, resting back into there, there may be some opportunity to the upside in um, WMT. Keep an eye here on the US dollar. Um, we've got bond yields still holding very, very strong here this morning showing um, well, we're not getting any relief here, and that adds some pressure to the market um, everywhere. And you can see right here, UUP remaining strong, maybe surging to the upside again here this morning. Keep an eye on that. That has negative impacts on a lot of commodity prices. Now, that being said, oh my goodness. Take a look at uranium. Uranium looking good. We pulled back here the other day and I had mentioned this on Friday to keep an eye on these for some bullish patterns if they did bounce back up and sure enough, it's exactly what they did, pushed on up. We'll wanna watch this area up here. We are struggling a little bit here with this resistance uh, right in that chart, but these uranium plays have been very, very strong despite the dollar. Take a look at UUU. 
very strong, showing a big potential pop here in the pre-market this morning on UUU that this may be just continuing to move right up this trend. And URA is another showing lots of strength and a possible breakout here of this last little pullback. So URA looking very strong despite the strength in the dollar. You might also want to be taking a look at anything over in the energy side of things. Uh, one of mine that I've been kind of keeping eye on is, is the refining side. When we've got supplies um, coming into you know tough areas, we rely heavily on those refiners to pick up their activity and drive those numbers back up. And you can see Schlumberger starting to lose some support here in the chart, losing its trend. If this, with the higher oil prices this morning, can pop right back up and hold, then there may be some opportunity there. Um, I would look at Valero. It's had a couple of rough days here, pulling back to this price support, but if it holds, as we see those oil prices moving back up this morning, there may be that opportunity that we hold in here, look for maybe some of that. And you can look at even some of the um, um, stocks here in the oil sector. Take a look at EQT, pretty strong pullback coming in a, su a support level. Um, see if they can hold in that area. Again, the dollar has a negative effect on these, so it is certainly possible they continue to sell off here in the market. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Thanks for the kind support to the channel. I, it means the world to me. You guys are awesome. Be careful, be safe, have a wonderfully profitable day, and I'll see you right back here bright and early. Tuesday morning. Wish you all the very best.